and pharmacists are still on call to answer your health-related questions. If you have a question for them, email it to greatdayhouston at khau.com, and they will try to get those answered for you throughout the show. It's estimated that about one in three adults is, in the United States has high blood pressure. It's a condition that can lead to heart attacks, strokes, and damage to your organs. Before the break, HEB pharmacist Gina Eubank took the blood pressure of an audience member, and uh, Gina is back now to talk about the results and what that all means. Hello there. Hello. Okay, the blood pressure was 119 over 76. Okay, and Allison, do you know what like what, what that means? Not really. Not really. <laughs> well, I think it's kind of good, isn't it? it yeah, that's excellent. Okay, yeah. so you're doing good. Yeah. When it comes to blood pressure, what do those numbers tell you? Okay, the top number. The 119 that Allison had, that is the systolic number. And what that means is that is the pressure in your blood vessel when it's actually the heart is contracting. Okay. Okay? The bottom number, the diastolic one, that is when your heart is relaxing in the blood vessel. Okay, so, so normal is like 120 over 80, so close yes, to that range yes. is doing fine. Yes. Anything higher than that, you need to go to the doctor and check things out. Um, and of course, it's not like you take your blood pressure on this one moment. You take it over a period of time to get an idea of what your average might be. Definitely. And you know, I tell people, because some people will, they have the white coat syndrome. Mm -hmm. They go in the doctor's office and they immediately, their blood pressure will go yeah. up. The other thing, if they're on, you know, cold medications, decongestants, things like that, or they're under a lot of stress. I ten had, cups of coffee. Ten yeah. cups of coffee, you know, diet pills, etc. You yeah. know, so you've got to look at what's really going on. We mentioned some of the risk factors of high blood pressure, and part of that can be family history. Mm -hmm. um, but there are some other things involved as well. Well, being male, you know, over 45, you know, that's a bummer. Yeah. Women, <laughs> you know, over 55 for that, because when our estrogen levels drop, you know, obesity, smoking, you know, not exercising, the obvious ones. Yeah, so. and of course, it can lead to death when you mm -hmm. have high blood pressure. So that's the reason why we have medications. But as a pharmacist, you want to make the point clear that you don't take uh, medications lightly. They can no. certainly help to save your life, but there are some things that we need to do in conjunction with that. Um, so the, the medicines that we take are what we call ACE inhibitors. One of them, it's, that is a type of blood pressure medication that's out there um, that a lot of people are on. And my whole point with the ACE inhibitors, there's a side effect that goes along with these that a lot of people are not aware of, and it causes a dry cough in some people. Uh -huh. And so what people will be doing if they don't go to the same pharmacy, you know, let's say they come in and they talk to me and they say, you know, I have this dry cough. And I say, well, are you on any other medication? Instead of, oh, well, you need, you know, a cough yeah. suppressant. You can you look up their mucinex. profile. Yeah, exactly. You need yeah. Mucinex DM. Cause, and they'll say, well, I've been doing, you know, a cough suppressant for months and months. And, you know, they keep treating it as if it were a cold yeah. or something like that. But they're like, I don't have any sinus congestion. So if you notice a family member or a friend or somebody that keeps going, <clears throat> <clears throat> that, yeah. that Which, of course, is hard in Houston because we have such bad yes. problems with allergies, but it could be that instead. It could be that instead, and there's no mucus. That's the thing. And dry cough. Yeah, yeah. It's just a dry little tickle, and it could... It could be that, and that's why, you know, go to the same pharmacy, because that's, that's the first thing we'll do. We'll know if you're coming in with a cough suppressant yeah. all the time. Yeah, have your relationship with your pharmacist yeah. that you can ask those questions. All right, let's move on to cholesterol. That's mm -hmm. the other thing. We oftentimes hear, you know, high blood pressure and cholesterol uh, mentioned in the same block, mm -hmm. uh, because oftentimes they do impact each other. So what does cholesterol mean? Cholesterol is the fatty substance that is in your body. Your liver produces all the cholesterol that you actually need. Mm -hmm. So, but we consume, you know, saturated fats, partially hydrogenated oils, things that your body, your liver has to process to move out, and that can raise your cholesterol levels. And there is HDL, which is one of the, I call it the happy cholesterol, uh -huh. because that's your good cholesterol that will move through your blood system, kind of like a little Pac-Man, and grab the LDL, the, the lousy, the bad, the bad yeah. stuff, <laughs> grab it and take it back to the liver so the liver can process it yeah. and remove it. And there are medications that can certainly help in that process, too, while you're making those dietary changes. Yes, yes. and, you know, the thing with, the, you have to be careful with these medications that lower the cholesterol, um, is the FDA just came out recently this week where they said that it can cause memory loss. So if you notice somebody who's on that, especially high doses, mm -hmm. and they're not remembering things quite as well, you know, they need to discuss it with their doctor because like any of these news that 
that comes out, so many people, they, they overreact. Right. But and usually I, when they say here are the symptoms, it's for the smallest amount of population that that happens. But then the other thing, of course, is if you're type 2 diabetic and you're taking some of these medications, how it can affect your, your blood sugar as well. So the key thing here is to ask your pharmacist. And if you notice any changes at all, ask your pharmacist to uh, keep, you know, talk to your doctor. But uh, I want to mention that you guys have your HEV second Saturday screenings, yes. which the great thing about this is that you can find out what, where you stand while doing your grocery shopping. I love that. <laughs> yeah, and you can get your glucose and your blood pressure for free. You can get a total cholesterol for three dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, I mean, love that. And that's happening this Saturday at HEV, offering that free blood pressure and glucose screenings at all of their pharmacies from nine a.m. to two p.m. And you can also get special pricing for cholesterol and lipid panel tests yeah. that you talked about. Twenty nine ninety nine to get the breakdown of the happy and the lousy. So. <laughs> all right, find out more at hev.com/pharmacy. That too could save your life. Gina, thank you very much. Coming up, when it comes to rhinoplasty, it's important to find a surgeon who really knows what they're doing. The smell test to make sure you find the right doctor for the job when we return.